Clive Christian number one. The cosmetics lady sprays me with the world's most expensive perfume. As I pull open the heavy glass door, Neiman's, Beverly Hills, I'm here to buy a gift. She sprays me with notes of plum, pineapple, white peach. It'll linger 24 hours. It's what Katie Holmes wore the night she married Tom Cruise. <laughs> now on me, Jasmine, tangerine, headachey, smelling like Katie under the covers, imagining Tom in the bathroom not coming out. <laughs> I keep nuzzling my wrist as I browse through men's scarves, falling in love with myself, wondering if I should have worn Clive Christian number one on my wedding night. Not residue from Banda Sole left from the day poolside in Santa Barbara. I'm still searching for my signature scent, rose oil tinged with poison. <laughs> Weekend aphrodisiac, forbidden sweat. I remember how I used to test my mother's, kept on the blue, depressed glass tray on her dresser. I'd spray up in the air of her bedroom, wave the fragrance onto my face, think how my friend's mothers were perfume-free, used cold cream, Vaseline, never smelled more than clean, and on the way out, empty-handed, she zaps me again. <laughs> this time, she hits me with bergamot lime, Sicilian mandarin, thyme. It's what Sylvester Stallone wears, she tells me. It'll linger at least a week. People backing away, disgusted, as I exit through the main floor, a woman smelling like a famous man.